Hi! Welcome to another video! Today we're gonna tackle the subject of translating websites using Google Translate. There are two ways of doing this and they both serve very different and distinct scopes. On one hand, you can use Google Translate for dynamic website translation, meaning that the engine will instantly translate any website on the web in a language of your choice. Or, on the other hand, you can use Google Translate for static translations of your own website, making your whole site available in multiple languages for all your visitors. So let's get into the first approach. While the first option is great for your personal use, this should only be used when you need to quickly translate a foreign website that doesn't offer its content in multiple languages, and not when you're looking to offer your own site in multiple languages. So for the first option, I'm going to show you an easy to use tool you can run on absolutely any website on the internet. You can access the tool from the Translate Press website, like I'm doing right now, but I will link it in the description as well for easy access. First, you can either select the original language of the website you are looking to translate, or you can also let Google automatically detect the source language. Next, choose the language you want to translate the website into. In this case, let's choose Spanish. Now, all we have to do is input the URL of the website we wish to translate. For the sake of this example, let's use translatepress.com, since the website is only available in English anyway. Hit translate and see the magic happen. You can also navigate the website and each page will be instantly translated. And as you can see here, you can even change the translation language at any time if you change your mind. Now, the second option we'll talk about is the one you'll want to use on your own WordPress site in order to make it available in more than one language for your visitors. For this, you'll need to install and activate the free TranslatePress plugin that you can download from the WordPress repository for free. Once Translate Press is installed, you'll have to add your secondary language. That's the language that you want your website to be translated into. So let's go to Settings, Translate Press, and do just that. I'll use Spanish here as well. As you can see, I'm simply choosing the language from this drop-down and clicking the Add button. If you scroll down on this tab, you'll see you can also customize where the language switcher will be displayed on your site and how it looks. Hit save changes and now let's move on to how Google Translate plays into this. Let's navigate to the automatic translation tab and enable this functionality by choosing yes in the dropdown. This will open up the rest of the settings for automatic translation. So first make sure to choose Google Translate as your automatic translation engine and then you'll need to retrieve a Google Translate API key so you can use their service on your website. In order to create a unique API key, you'll need to sign up for a Google Cloud Console account. But we do have a separate video explaining how to generate your API key step by step, so if you need help, you can go and watch that one first. I've linked it in the upper right corner of this video. Once your API is in place, hit Save Changes and let's put Translate Press to work. Simply navigate to your website from the front end and switch to the secondary language. And just like that, you'll see that your page is now translated. To automatically translate all of your website, all you have to do is navigate to each page once. After that first visit, the translations will be stored on your own server, so you'll never have to retrieve them from Google again. This way you have full ownership of the translations and your website loading time is not affected in any way. And that's that. You now know how to use Google Translate for website translation, be it your own site or somebody else's. For more information, make sure to check the Translate Press documentation linked in the description. And for more useful WordPress tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also, if you found this video helpful, we'd appreciate a thumbs up. Thanks for watching!